About a week ago, I had showed you how to run large language models using cloud GPUs with HyperStack. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. The main purpose of that video was to demonstrate that even if you don't have compatible hardware to run any sort of large language model, for example, like running Llama 2's 70 billion parameter model, you can still utilize HyperStack's cloud GPU service, and this is to access the necessary computational power. Now, this is where HyperStack enables you to host large language models with immense parameter sizes, which are often impossible to run on consumer grade computers. HyperStack actually allows you to own, operate, and optimize everything from the server, the network, all the way to the platform itself. Additionally, they are partners with NVIDIA, which provide access to top grade GPUs. For example, if you are to go to HyperStack's website and go over to the product tab, you can see that there is a list of GPUs that are provided by HyperStack and these are basically catered to a category of compute and hardware ranges that are needed for any AI model to basically function, where it can run the largest of the largest language models with these GPUs. Now, many viewers were curious about what GPU goes with what language model, and I had also promised this to create a video on focusing on the specific computational requirements for large language models itself, as well as AI models in general. Now, throughout today's video, I'm gonna be delving a little bit deeper into the details to showcase which GPUs are needed for various large language models. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to be showcasing what sort of gpus are needed for any sort of ai model now this is because many people requested on finding out what sort of gpu is needed for running a large language model and i really wanted to put emphasis on this because choosing the right gpu for ai workloads is quite crucial and you don't want to waste time or resources when you're wanting to run a larger model but you don't have the right compute for it. This is where we're gonna be talking a little bit more on the optimal performance and efficiency that GPU cloud services like HyperStack can provide. There's several factors that must be considered, including the CUDA cores, the architecture, memory capacity, you have to consider the bandwidth, the multi-GPU scalability, as well as the price and budget. And this is something that we're gonna be doing by evaluating these factors carefully, by making sure that I'm able to convey what sort of GPUs are needed for any sort of large language model. Now, if you are to go over to the HyperStack website and go over to the Solutions tab and click on AI, it'll take you to this page which is going to summarize the GPUs that are suitable for AI model training. And if you are to scroll down, they're going to be able to recommend different GPUs for AI as well as AI model training. For example, you can see that there is the A100 which is able to supercharge inference with H100s, it achieves up to 30x acceleration and ultimately experience low latency. You also have the H100 PLCE which is something that unlocks the potential of A100s for AI model training. It also has advanced model analysis and accurate predictions. You lastly have the H100 SXM, which is able to unlock the potential of A100s for AI model training. It's an advanced model analysis and accurate predictions. Now, if you are to go over the products, they have a list of other products that are well suited for various other use cases within the AI scope. Now, in this next segment, I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth on which GPUs that you should be using for any sort of model, and I'll be showcasing how you can find out what GPU is needed for that model. Now, if you are to go over to the HyperStack website and go over to the Solutions tab and click on AI, it'll take you to this page which is going to summarize the GPUs that are suitable for AI model training. And if you are to scroll down, they're going to be able to recommend different GPUs for AI as well as AI model training. For example, you can see that there is the A100 which is able to supercharge inference with H100s, it achieves up to 30x acceleration and ultimately experience low latency. You also have the H100 PLCE which is something that 
unlocks the potential of A100s for AI model training. It also has advanced model analysis and accurate predictions. You lastly have the H100 SXM, which is able to unlock the potential of A100s for AI model training. It's an advanced model analysis and accurate predictions. Now, if you are to go over the products, they have a list of other products that are well suited for various other use cases within the AI scope. Now, in this next segment, I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth on which GPUs that you should be using for any sort of model. And I'll be showcasing how you can find out what GPU is needed for that model. So in this next step, I'm going to be focusing on calculating the GPU memory requirement as well as the tokens for any large language model. This is where we're going to calculate the GPU's memory requirements as well as the tokens that are needed per second for any large language model. Now, this is where we're also going to consider the model size, where the number of parameters in the large language model, which will determine its memory's footprint. You also have the batch size, which is focusing on the number of samples that are processed simultaneously during the training or inference. You also have the tokenization schema, and this is the method that's used to convert text inputs into tokens, which affect the number of tokens that are being processed per second. Now, there is actually a formula to calculate the GPU memory requirement, where the memory requirement in GB is equaling the model size, which is in parameters, and multiplying it by the model's precision. And this is a website that actually does it for you, where we're going to be able to see the model's precision, we're going to be able to note the sequence length, the tokens per second, which will help us calculate depending on the specific large language model's architecture, as well as showcasing what sort of GPU is needed for it. And this is something where we can choose a random model on Hugging Face. For example, if we are to search up Mistral, we can then go over to the Mistral 8x7b instruct model. Now that we have selected our model, how can you actually figure out the requirements for it? Well, this is where I'm going to show you when you simply just need to copy the model card. And this is by clicking on this button over here, going back to the RUGPU port website, pasting in the name for it. In this case, you can also paste in the size within billions. So you can simply just type in 7 billions as this is a 7 billion parameter model. Now you can either choose between these options, whether you're using this model to train or for inference, and you are also able to change the training method, which is going to focus on choosing this option like supervised learning. You have reinforcement learning as well as self-supervised learning, which is going to all determine how the model updates its parameter based on the input of data as well as feedback. You have the optimizer, which is going to determine the algorithm that's used to adjust the model's parameters. And this is during the training phase to minimize the loss function. You have quant, which is referring to the process of reducing the precision of the model's weights. Now, if you are to see on different model cards, you can see that there's different various ranges of quant methods, which is to basically save the memory and computational resources while sacrificing some accuracy. So definitely specify which what, the model will specify which quant method it's using. So make sure you input that quant method. In the next step, you have the prompt length, which will specify the length of the input text or context that is provided to the model before generating outputs. This is something that will influence the relevance as well as the coherence of the generated text. You have tokens to generate, which is going to determine the number of tokens or words the model should generate in response to the input text. And this is obviously going to be affecting the length and the specific output. You lastly have the batch size, and this is something that will refer to the number of input of samples that are processed simultaneously during the training or inference stage. And this will actually impact the efficiency of the computation. So you want to make sure that you specify and you make sure you understand what you're doing in regards of the model, because this will give you an accurate representation of the compute that is needed. So once you have specified these things, you can then simply go over and just click on find memory requirements, or you can find the tokens per second usage. So I'm going to quickly fill this out and we'll be right back. So I have specified the things that are required to get the memory requirements. And we can see over here that after I clicked on this button, it says that I'm going to require 14 gigabytes to basically have this functional. And this, are, this is the memory requirements that is needed to have it fully hosted on my computer. And this is the GPU that is needed for it. So in this case, it will specify how many GPUs are needed. And it's going to specify the memory requirements. 
So once we have gotten this information, what we can do is go over to our amazing tool, which is HyperStack. And I showcase what this tool is able to do as this is a virtual machine that lets you host any sort of large language model that you want, whether that's a 70 billion parameter model all the way down to a 2 billion parameter model. You can host anything with your cloud's GPU service and it's super simple to do so. And I have a full video on it. So I truly recommend that you take a look at it. Now, what you can do next is just create a virtual machine. And this is by deploying a new virtual machine. And this is only done after you set your environment as well as your SSH key. Now, what you want to do next is choose your flavor. This is the GPU service that is provided by HyperStack. And you can choose amongst these different GPUs as well as your own CPU. Now, in this case, I recommend that you go with an 800 as you're going to be able to get the most of the or like the best use case out of it you can also use the rtx a6000 since we're only requiring a small amount of gp so in this case we can go with these two options and it should be more than enough for our basic hosting and in this case we can just simply use an rtx a6000 just one and it should be more than enough and we can then move forward to choosing an image setting our key pair and then we can have it fully hosted within hyperstack once you have done that you're able to host the large language model off of hyperstack and i have a full video which is showcasing how you can do all of these steps step by step and it guides you through each and every process of setting this up on your own computer now i highly recommend that you take a look at the gpus that are recommended for ai that is provided by hyperstack it'll give you more insights as to which gpu is best for which circumstance and if you are to go over and learn more from each of these options it'll give you a detailed explanation as to why you might use an 800 gpu for ai use cases and they basically specify it by stating that it's mostly used for ai like tasks like training a large language model and they handle massive data sets as well as complex calculations that are needed to train ai models and if you can go down a little bit you'll be able to see the different technical specifications how much the CUDA core specification is tensor cores as well as many others that are stated over here and this way you get a good understanding as to what you can do with this GPU that is provided from hyperstack alongside with this tool that is being used to help you understand the GPU requirements for your large language model but that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you found it to be very useful. HyperStack is a great way for you to host these large language models fully with their cloud GPUs. And RU GPU Pour is a great tool that will let you know the memory requirements to have it fully hosted with your GPU. So with that thought, guys, I hope you found this video to be very beneficial. And this hopefully answers all your questions on which GPU to use for which large language model. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to join our private Discord. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. This is a great way for you to get the best of the best AI information right directly to you in your feed and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas